Hey guys, today we're going to learn why sodium metal is so explosive. So here I have a little chunk of sodium metal, and we can see that it is very, very pliable, and you can bend it very easily with just your fingers. And it can even be cut with a knife. And when we cut it with a knife, we see that it reveals this beautiful, shiny metal. But it's normally very dull and gray on the outside because it can be oxidized so quickly. And this gives us our first hint into how explosive it is. Now I hate to say it, but this is definitely a don't try this at home video. Throughout this entire video, whenever I handle the bare metal, I'll always be wearing gloves, as the moisture in your fingers can actually cause the sodium to start reacting. Also, all the sodium is stored in this jar filled with mineral oil to prevent any contact with oxygen or water. So with that being said, atoms are made up of a nucleus, which has a proton and a neutron, along with tiny electrons that orbit that nucleus. Now the protons are positively charged, whereas the electrons are negatively charged. And those neutrons have a neutral charge, so we won't really worry about them. Now if we look at sodium on the periodic table, we see that it has the atomic number 11, meaning that it has 11 protons in its nucleus. So to keep an overall neutral charge, that means it also has to have 11 electrons orbiting it. Now if you've ever made a Bohr diagram in your chemistry class, you know that electrons orbit at different levels, or shells. Now I know this Bohr model is a little bit outdated to the newer electron cloud model, but it makes it a lot easier to visualize, so we'll just stick with it for now. To make one of these models for sodium, we'd first put 11 protons in the nucleus, followed by two electrons in the first shell. Then we'd put eight more electrons in the second shell, leaving only one lonely electron in the third and final shell. The electrons housed in that very last shell are known as valence electrons. And valence electrons are one of the biggest indicators of elemental properties. Generally speaking, the more valence electrons an atom has, the more stable it is. So with sodium only having one valence electron, it's very, very unstable. So that atom desperately wants to get rid of that one electron, so it'll have a full set of valence electrons, and it'll do almost anything to get that. When you place a piece of sodium in water, it gives off that valence electron to the H2O molecule. And this creates a sodium hydroxide made of sodium, oxygen, and hydrogen, along with some hydrogen gas. Now with this small balloon filled with hydrogen gas, we can see that it is super explosive if you ignite it. And that reaction between the sodium and the water is so exothermic and it releases so much heat that it ignites that hydrogen gas and that is what creates that explosion. Now you probably got the idea of why sodium metal is so explosive from that little tiny explosion, but I didn't buy 50 grams of sodium from a sketchy eBay deal in Lithuania for nothing. So uh, Joey, take it away with that huge piece. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, as much as I enjoyed creating this video, then please leave a like or subscribe. And also thanks to my friends Joey and Kobe for helping me make this. Thanks. Also, did you think I could go through this entire video without making a sodium joke? Nah. <laughs>